what's up you guys this is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind we are back with another installment of Rob Reads You Shit that you probably don't want to read yourself in addition to a little smattering of Dress to Kill added on in. There's a lot of topics that are kind of a little bit all over the place however I figured I would lump them in one video. So as you guys can probably see Mask of the Revenant update 23.8.0 is out and this one contains Neja Revisited and the new Neja Empyrean collection. And I have to say, it fucking looks good. I believe, I'm not 100% sure that this was all Skyers' work, but holy fuck, once we get in-game to take a look at that skin, you can tell he busted his butt for all of the details that are in it. He did amazingly. So as you can see, the Neja Empyrean collection um, embodies the grace of a falling star and the terror of its impact. With this celestial collection for Neja, that's a lot of marketing BS right there, but I mean, it does look good. It includes the Neja Empyrean skin, the Buzz Hao Sayandana, wow, being an Asian, I am a disgrace. The Tang Dagger skin and the Ninja Imperial helmet, it or Imperian helmet. It looks really, really good. Um, the one thing that I do want to point out with, I thought it was going to be a double dagger skin, but they've made it very clear it is a single dagger skin. And for those of you who are curious, it does not work on Zaz. They still haven't kind of flexed on their um, things with when it comes to that, when it comes to their policy. As we know, the Neja Revisited rework has kind of come out. I'll go ahead and link to that video as well because it's very in-depth and it would take a whole lot of rambling in this video to kind of take it up. I'll also be doing a own separate video on that. I'll be doing a rebuild on Nija, then we'll get that published um, so that we can see how it all flushes out with the new rework. I mean, like I said, he was fun before, but um, now it seems like he's going to be fun and, and useful at the same time. Now, the one reason that I didn't want to make this a Rob Reads You Things because we also have Revenant ability changes. So it's not just Nija that's here. It's also Revenant that's getting a little bit of love. So we have a big batch of changes to Revenant based on constructive player feedback. Specifics per ability follow below. But a big thanks to everyone who took the time to log in and play and visit space, uh, visit a space forums or otherwise to give their thoughts. It's crucial to the iteration process. Thank you. Um, Revenant ability changes. We have a big batch of changes. Oh wait, I just read that. And Thrall. Thralls, we have made we have made changes. The Thralls more value in life and death. I can't read today. Just as Revenant did. The general rule, Thralls will follow as they provide CC in life, damage in death. The goal is to simplify to have an easy supply of thralls to make use of both in life and death. Currently, enthrall has the following uses. While alive, you can get up to seven enemies crowd controlled. They won't attack you or allies and will draw aggro from AI. It spreads slash is transferred. The enthrall state is contagious. You can reave thralls for greater scaling health and shield leeching. If thralls are killed by Dance Macabre, overshield drops are created. So you get a little variance there when it comes to your thralls. After death, it creates a damaging pillar and that's it. Not useful enough in death at all. So they've added more to the additional after death. We've added the following this update. While active, the pillar creates homing projectiles similar to the Bombalist attacks and Revenant signature weapon, the Phantasma. The pillars can now be exploded to output their damage radially if hit by Dance Macabre. Mesmer skin. Now this one is big. This one is big. On the development build before release, Mesmer skin was recastable, but we removed it due to balance concerns. But our gut reaction was right, and thanks to your feedback, we've changed it back to how it was, and you can now recast Mesmer skin to recharge it. So as long as you got the enemy or the energy, you can basically stay invisible. Um, and also CC enemies at the same time, because they got that little stun stagger going on uh, when you have that up. Now with Reeve, they've lowered energy costs to 50. Revenant is now fully immune to damage while Reaving, it's meant to be a lifesaver. 
When Reaving thralls with Mesmer Skin active, it restores a charge. When Reaving allies with Mesmer Skin active, it adds a protective energy to your allies who happen to be in range, a small protective bonus. Nice. While Reeve is cast in Dance Macabre, the energy cost is lowered to 25. Wow, they're making some big changes to Reeve. This allows for quicker risk-free placement of Revenant for tactical maneuvering. The direction of Reeve now follows the last reticle aim point, which makes casting more responsive to intent. Uh, Revenant fixes. Fix Revenant's Reeve using the wrong value health for shield gain. Uh, fixed inability to damage Revenant's enthralled enemies with the Arc of Plasmor. Uh, fixed... Uh, enthralled enemies still attempting to hack terminals during interception missions. Oh my god, I remember that. That was terrible. Fixed Gera's Mass Vitrify blocking Revenant's Dance Macabre lasers, and Fixed Revenant's Dance Macabre and Strangle Dome names being in all caps. So those were the big changes to Revenant. Um, I kind of, like, that seems like a pretty big change to, like, his overall efficacy. I'm really, really interested in jumping in and playing him again. Because before, I mean, he didn't feel bad, but at the same time, he didn't feel great. Uh, the one last thing that I wanted to go ahead and cover was uh, Rhino now has a buff indicator for his iron skin. Very, very similarly to the way that they've kind of reworked Neja. So that's definitely nice. Um, and one more thing that I kind of wanted to glaze over here is changed health conversion to only remove stacks on health damage. Whoa, that's big. Previously, it removed stacks on any damage, which was counterproductive when the damage was on shields as they are not affected by armor. That is actually quite big um, because of the fact that now, I mean... Ooh. Wow, you can keep up your stacks even better. This is going to synergize extremely well with Nija. Now, speaking of Nija, let's go ahead and jump into kind of like a first look of his skin. Because I've been rambling about those patch notes for a while. And let me just tell you right now, god damn it, he did a fucking amazing job. There were a lot of questions that we were talking about when it came to, oh, how are we going to outdo, um, how are we going to outdo, uh, what do you call this, uh, what's his name, Nidus' skin. And I'm going to be real with you, the detailing on this is gorgeous. You can actually see kind of like the weathering on the cloth, which is fantastic. The quilting is great, and it's got that same weathering as well. Um, the, what is it called? The um, physics on all of the tassels, even though they some of them do clip a little bit, the physics on them are absolutely gorgeous as well. And the detailing on the metallic, the feet, look at the feet! With the discs, for those of you guys who kind of follow the ninja lore, um, he did have these kind of like, I don't know, I guess you would call them like flaming circle things, like wheels that he like attacked, like it was crazy. Anyway, it's gorgeous. The flaming effects look absolutely amazing. Of course, this is with the Cyan Donna. Let's, let's look at it without the Cyan Donna first, and then let's go ahead and take a look at it with the Cyan Donna, because the Cyan Donna does block. Look at that. Look at that. That shit looks fucking amazing. And one of the things that I like too is there's a little bit of a detail on his chest where they've got like these ropes, which obviously are like amazingly well textured, but it almost looks like the ropes like go into him and you can see the fire burning inside of him, which kind of also follows through to his neck and his face. It's like, it's like, it's like the, the frame itself is containing this burning fire. And then it's all kind of being like expunged. Is that the right word? Expelled? It's being it's being released uh, through uh, the disc on his back as well as the freaking face of the dragon. It is so well done. It is so well done. And for those of you wondering, he does got a little tush. He's got a little perp booty right there. We're getting a little ass equality back in our lives. So very happy about that. And the one thing else I want to point out too is all of this metallic detailing is gorgeous, but I also love the fucking hands. Those hands. They, they look like they can just snatch your heart right out. And I've kind of, as of late, with having to deal with some people on the internet, sometimes you just feel like you want to do that. You feel like you want to do that. You don't actually go and do that. But when you're given beautiful accessories, like the Neja, like the Luxe skin, sometimes you feel like you want to own it a little bit. Um, I, I'm in love. I actually think it's absolutely amazing. I did not think that they could do better than that Nidus Deluxe skin, but you know... 
just just the little deets on this one make it really good it's a great combination now let's go ahead and take a look at that cyanata because i got things to say about this cyanata i don't know who planned this cyanata i don't know who thought about this sign i don't know where this cyanata came from but yes Yes, 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 yes. This is one of the few Sayonanas that DE has done that is absolutely immaculate in quite a while. It just feels ornate. It feels luxe. It doesn't have ridiculous, like, overcloth dragging on the floor kind of BS. Um, and the way that it fits on the Nija Deluxe skin looks pretty gosh darn good. I mean, it's a, it's a bit hard because he does have the disc on his back. I imagine if there were no disc on the back, this would actually lay perfectly over the dragon face. But as you can see right here, it's almost like the dragon's got its additional crest. It's like a lion face over the dragon face. And you guys know I like lions and dragons, so they had a little chimera baby on the fucking back of Nija. And these things right here, it's, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real, they're not my favorite. I wish they were more similar to the tassels that they had um, here. I wish that it kind of carried over, but I don't think it's atrocious, which is, I, I hate to say it, that's that's kind of, it's, it's a mean thing to say, but some of the things that have been put out are like pretty atrocious. This is 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 great this is fantastic i'm i'm loving it i'm gonna play around with putting it on other uh frames at some point in the future but so far it's a big fucking one i didn't even realize the little little danglies off of his legs too wow there's just it's just dangle city it's just dangle city here with the new neja deluxe fucking fantastic now let's look at this dagger I wish we could have made it a, a double dagger skin. That would have been nice. Um, especially with Melee 3.0 coming out, I hear that double daggers are going to get a little bit more love. The dagger skin, I can't fault. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it looks fantastic. However, I will say one thing. The rest of the skin looks so good that, you know, the dagger skin, it's nice. It's nice. It's very nice. It's very well done. But, I mean... I'm just blinded by Nerja's beauty and glory right now. I can't say enough. It's a really, really great collection. Um, I'm a big fan. Even even the Cyandana got me. Even the Cyandana got me, and that's not something that I could say very often. So you guys, be sure to go ahead and check that out. Let's take a look at it in the market real quick. Um and let's see how this all works out mr ninja imperium collection so the collection is 225 which is actually really good um and that contains the imperium skin the bijou sayadana and the 10 da 10 dagger skin as always you guys are very very aware that everything in the deluxe like the the collections aren't available singly let's just make sure it's buzz how let's let's type that in buzz how it's only available in the collection, so be very wary of that just in case it's something that you might want in the future. Now, if you're not interested in the Cyandana or the Dagger skin and just kind of want the, the skin on its own, um, you can get it for 150 plats. So as you can see right there, oh, it's in the cute Neja pose. Neja got thick. He got thick, he got booty, he got arms, he got back, he is looking real good. So for all of you Neja lovers out there, absolutely rejoice. Um, go on, go forth, play the Neja rework. I do have another video that I'm actually in the middle of recording for the second channel right now. Um, so this kind of came at a little bit of a, oh, I gotta do this. Um, so I'll be playing that a little bit later on, as well as the Revenant um, fixes, because those ones actually look really interesting, really, really cool, and I'm excited about those as well. So guys, get on the Ninja train, because this this hot tamale is taking off. Uh, regardless, that about does it for me for now. Leave all of your feelings in uh, the comments below. Are you guys as excited as I am? How about you Revenant lovers out there? Are you feeling these changes? Um, but as always, Love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.